Hey everyone. So today I will be shooting this wheel gloss white from the Ultimate High Gloss 2X. We will be putting a primer down over it um, because it is exposed metal. We've spent three days prepping these wheels. We've used everything from sandpaper to wire wheels to sandblasters and even the aircraft stripper. There was five coats of paint, five layers of paint I should say, over this over each wheel and these are 18 inch wheels. So I'm gonna show you how I paint these. Um, you're gonna wanna get obviously the primer and then the paint. You don't have to use the primer since this is a two in one primer, but I recommend it for wheels. You will need some acetone, a shop rag or towel or whatever, your breathing mask because a lot of people uh, don't think I have one. I had I went out and bought a brand new one and then I ended up finding my old one. So. I got my mask, just make sure it's in a well ventilated area. We do have both shop doors open and a fan blowing out. So let's get started. Another side note, you will want some of these index cards or note cards. Uh, you can use playing cards and Pokemon cards, whatever. Um, just as long as it sticks in the wheel fine, this will help eliminate overspray. Um, so I will be wiping these down as well because the white overspray is pretty bad We we'll just use some acetone on a rag and it wipes it right off, but we'll get started doing that All right, after you put the note cards in, you're going to want to spray the primer lightly and let it dry for about five minutes. This primer dries pretty quick, and then you'll want to do another light coat. Now let that sit for about five minutes. Since this does dr dry pretty fast, that'll be long enough before we can recoat. Another thing, if you have these sticky weights, you can remove them during your prep. Um, mine's already balanced, so I didn't want to remove them, but I recommend removing them if you have the money to go have them rebalanced after you have painted them. Definitely do that, it gives it for a cleaner look, but as long as I don't you know, have to go get it rebalanced soon, it should be fine. All right, so it's been sitting for about five minutes. Um, I'll go ahead and slap another coat on. You wanna make sure to hit it from every angle because there are spots you can't see when you're sitting in one spot. So just kind of walk around as you're shooting. Just remember to do a light coat. And then uh, after this is done, we'll pull the note cards off, flip it over and do the other side. All right, we're gonna wait about another five minutes and then we're gonna flip it over. All right, we flipped it over, um, put the note cards back on. So I, I wanted to give you this tip. Every once in a while, kind of just wipe around the tip here, um, just so that nothing drips off into the paint whenever you're spraying, because sometimes it does accumulate around here. So. Uh, just make sure to kind of wipe it. Just kind of carry one with you and just wipe it frequently.
So now we're gonna wait again, and then we'll shoot it with another coat. All right, it's ready for another coat. Okay, we're gonna wait another five minutes and then we're gonna start with the white. Now we're gonna start with the gloss. We shook it up really well. Just hit it with a light coat. All right, we're gonna let that coat dry and then do another. We're gonna go ahead and shoot another layer over this, and this one will be just a little bit thicker. All right, now after this coat dries, we're done with the front, and we will have to turn it on its side to finish the rest. And this can be difficult unless you wanna wait for this to fully cure and flip it over all the way. Um, I just don't do that. I usually turn it on the side, try to put the note cards in and hope gravity doesn't take them down and spray the inside. Or you can just spray it, and if you get over spray on the tire, wipe it down with some acetone. I will show you both ways. Now you'll let this dry and then we'll go through and we'll wipe everything down with some acetone. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get all the paint off.
All right, there it is. As you can see, there's still a little spot that I'll just wipe off. Using acetone, being very careful, it'll take that paint right off of there. I'll show you the other side. Now, a lot of people will think this damages your tires, but it doesn't. I've worked in tire shops for years, and I've never seen one get damaged because of some acetone lightly wiped on a rag. So, well, that's how I paint my wheels. I'm going to repeat this process three more times, get all four wheels done, and uh, we'll have a video out after this. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more videos.